Tonight, a story in our Better Together initiative focusing on mental wellness. A new Oregon law is getting a lot of national attention, and now we're hearing from some of the students who lobbied to make it happen. House Bill 2191 says students in Oregon can now take mental health days as excused absences from school, just like they would with, say, a physical sickness. Fox 12's Kelsey Watts joins us live in studio now with the details in all this. Kelsey? Well, Governor Brown recently signed this into law, so this will go into effect when the new school year starts. It allows students to take up to a total of five excused absences in the span of three months for any combination of physical, behavioral, and mental health. I wanted to get involved with this because a lot of my best friends in high school struggled with severe depression and anxiety and I saw days when they really shouldn't have been at school, you know, and none of the adults in their lives knew what was happening with them. Haley Hardcastle and Derek Evans are recent high school graduates who have been working to change the way mental health is seen in school. They were among the students who lobbied Oregon lawmakers to pass House Bill 2191, expanding excused school absences to include mental health days. And along the way, they met a lot of opposition. One of the things that we heard was that people just abuse it. Life doesn't get easier. There's a thousand things that people can say, but the bottom line is that we're just trying to save lives and keep students healthy. They've been working alongside advocates from Providence Health and hope this will help take the stigma surrounding mental health away, leading to open conversations between students, parents and teachers about what teens are really dealing with. When you're able to honestly call up and say, I'm having a panic attack and I can't come to school today, instead of having to make up a cold, that really begins to normalize the fact that mental health conditions are the same as physical health conditions and we shouldn't be ashamed of them. One of their big concerns is preventing suicide. According to the Oregon Health Authority, it's the second leading cause of death for Oregon teens. They hope if students feel comfortable opening up about mental health instead of lying about it for an excused school absence, they can find help and community knowing others are struggling with it too. The moment when it finally got signed was really hopeful and inspiring and I just hope that this is the first step. You know, I don't want it to stop here. It's just the first step in the right direction. And those teens you just heard from are also doing interviews with national news outlets today because this law is getting a lot of attention all over the country for being one of the first of its kind. Live in studio, Kelsey Watts, Fox 12 Oregon. Thank you, Kelsey. Well, know that there are many organizations out there dedicated to helping support the mental wellness of kids, teens, and parents. As part of our Better Together initiative, we do have a list of them on our website, kptv.com. We've also got a link there where you can join in on the conversation about mental health days for students with the hashtag work to be well.